This section is going to talk about applications in the curriculum, specifically around building learner empathy. And this area is rather interesting because it's a really relatively new area, and there's not a great analogous experiment, um, I would say, within traditional curricula outside of using standardized patients to play the role. Now, with virtual reality, you can actually become the patient or see through the patient's eyes. Now with this example from a company called Embodied Labs, there's a module called We Are Alfred. And in this case, the learner, a medical student, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen here, is has become Alfred, a patient with macular degeneration. And you'll see that on the screen, on the monitor, you can see what Alfred is seeing. And macular de degeneration causes a visual defect in their main field of vision. And so the learner is asked to perform certain tasks while this defect is in place. Also, this patient, Alfred, being an older patient, has hearing loss. And so the headphones are actually putting the volume down at a certain uh, decreased volume, so it's harder for the patient to hear. So this patient, sorry, the learner, is experiencing the patient's hearing loss as well as vision changes and asked to perform normal everyday tasks, such as going to a doctor's visit. There's also the consideration for using VR or AR non-medical games in the curriculum to assess or build certain what we call soft skills, such as communication or teamwork skills. Here is a great paper put together by Crawford, Monks, and Wells that talks about virtual reality as an interview technique in the evaluation of emergency medicine applicants. Now, in this environment, they used a game called Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, which is a two-person game that really focuses on good closed-loop communication. One person who plays the role of the bomb diffuser is in a fully immersed VR environment and has a bomb in front of them at which they have to diffuse. Now they don't have any instructions, so the second person who is not in the VR environment has a list of instructions that they have to review and verbalize to the bomb diffuser how to diffuse the bomb. So there's a lot of really important communication interplay that has to happen, which is a great skill to build in medical learners as well. So here's an example of how that works. Okay, so you'll see on the top part of the screen, the individual on the right hand side is looking at the bomb in front of them. Now on the bottom, the person who's not in the game is playing the role of the expert and they have to read the instructions based on what the bomb diffuser is telling them about the certain environment. So they have to read, process this information, and then convey it in a way that's easy for the player who's diffusing the bomb to understand the instructions. And so there has to be good dialogue and the person who's holding the bomb will see a countdown timer and it's up to them to really kind of guide this process through and interact well with that expert. And so you'll see here they're holding the button and they have a yellow strip. And so from the bottom, they have to release when the counter has a timer of five in any position. And they did that successfully. Now they go on to the next task. Each bomb can have several tasks and the team is tasked with putting those together. So again, it's an interesting approach to using VR and AR, but using non-medical technology or non-medical software uh, for learning.